Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see how you're coming into the reading Capricorn and what you're dealing with. What situation is Capricorn dealing with? What's going on for my caps? All right, let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Okay, mask. All right, so somebody's hiding their true feelings, true intentions, not showing their true feelings, hiding again, pretending, deluding, and maybe even gaslighting. Um, you could be doing this. Someone's doing this to you. Somebody's, I feel like somebody's holding back. Let's see what this is about for uh, Capricorn. What is this about for Capricorn? Karmic relationship. So something is just not right. It's not going well. It triggers, turmoil. Just resentment, lessons, and you just need to let go and love you, you know. Um, a karmic relationship. It, it, it could have been just a person comes into your life and illuminates something within you that you can fix about you. It's not about them being karmic and then you say, oh, they're karmic, and then that's the lesson. No, it's about they came into your life to also shine light on something about you too, okay, because like attracts like, okay. Um, now your issue might not be the same as theirs, but you do have an issue because why would you tolerate a karmic person? Hmm. So now you have to drill down on you, right? Um, let's see. Camera reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, make memories. So it's like, maybe you have to learn. Some of you are looking back on a karmic relationship or how somebody was masking, um, their toxicity or how they just were not healthy for you or healthy at all you know in terms of a relationship they just show up for the relationship let's see what's going on here coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment so maybe you could be meeting up with friends or um you're talking about maybe your story here or you need to do that or you're talking about what was going on i'm hearing that somebody is talking about um how they broke up with this person to other people other women or getting around in a circle or talking about what happened or what transpired in the relationship as to why you had to leave or why you're leaving some of you could be acting like your relationship is not karmic so you could be conversing with other people and still have that mask on like it's still going well it's still good let's see coughing yeah but something is come over i said it too endings growth liberation transition so some of you are talking to other people about how i had to leave his behind i had to leave her she was this he was that and um you could be reminiscing a little bit maybe in your mind about the good times um, maybe the bad outweigh the good the good outweigh the bad but it was a situation where you had to leave with a karmic relationship card um somebody could want to rebuild work on this they could be interrogating you this is repetitive like with a hammer working on this relationship over and over again and it's going nowhere fast and that's how you feel or that's how the other person feels or somebody knows that it's going to go nowhere fast but they still want to work on it once again is what i'm hearing it's not even that it's a first time working on it it's like they just keep coming back um what is the future energy for capricorn future energy for capricorn yeah distant horizon so growth liberation spirituality delving into you learning about you so that you can be better in your next relationship all right so high honor for some of you and thoughts so somebody's thinking of you because you left now somebody's putting you high up on that pedestal in their mind you got complete residence in their mind honey um, and they could even be thinking about marrying you or marriage with you. They don't want to let you go. Somebody wants to work on this, rebuild this. Let's see. They want to like meet with you and talk about the ending because they're reminiscing. And some of you are meeting with other people and you're talking about how you had to let this go. Let's see. I heard he was crazy. Coughing coming out again. So this is definitely over. Okay. Somebody's like, it's a no. With well, this card, it says a no go. So you might have to meet up with this person or you tell this person no. It's just a no. It's a strong no. All right. And the last card, yeah, thief and official person. So it's like this person really is holding back how they want to come back into your life. But them coming back as the, they want to be just the number one person in your life. Okay. They want to be the person that you run to or that you're looking to or that you want to be with or that you run after. But with the official person, the only thing I don't like about his personality is the fact that he's very, um, he, he deals with you very officially, uh, formally. This could be a person who 
you know, sends you one word answers to your text message. You text a whole paragraph. They text one word. Now, this is a person who, you know, you don't know where you stand with them. The lovey doveys and the declaration of love really doesn't come from this person. This could be even you, Capricorn. With the thief and the official person coming up, it's like, this person plans to be this way. This is how they are. This is what you get. You know, maybe they uh, they hold back. This is somebody who feels like they need to hold back. They're not comfortable being, being vulnerable. Clarify this one. These two cards. Thief and the official person. This is somebody who's dedicated to work, making money, looking good, being out in the public, you know, limelight, yeah, pathway. Maybe this person is, is trying to tell you that they're going to take a new path with you. Or they want to do something new with you. You know, um, they've changed. We did have change come up a, a quite some time. They know that they cheated you. They didn't give you enough. They weren't showing, showing you enough affection. They want to do something different. That could be for some of you. So that's really good. Yeah, this person definitely, like I've already said, wants this relationship back with courtship showing up. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. But before you go to the website, go to the community tab and get a discount code and then head over to the website and book your reading. Phone readings are the best, but I also have a 10 minute video recorded reading. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Take care.